I got a skull. Today I'm going to show you five secrets that you did not know in Descenders. The things I'm going to be showing you is free gear, secret tricks, and even a secret Lux bike that only some people will be able to get. If you're excited to know about these five secret things in Descenders, make sure you subscribe down below and follow the TikTok and hit the like button. Oh yeah. Why does this always happen when I'm recording? Like seriously. Stop. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be showing you this video is an awesome free piece of gear that anyone can get in under 30 seconds. So when you're in the lobby, all you want to do is just go over to the moon or the caravan park and you're going to be seeing this gravestone. When you go up to the gravestone, you're going to see it's for the candy bar. On your screen, it should say pay respect for the candy bar and then you want to press that button and you'll instantly get a free piece of gear. If you head over to the shed and look in your shirts and go in the food category, you will unlock this free shirt which is the candy bar shirt this is actually a really good shirt and a lot of people seem to like this one okay now i'm going to show you a secret mega ramp that no one knows about in stoker bike park okay so we're in stoker bike park right now and there's an awesome secret mega ramp that is really cool to hit since you go over a massive area to get this secret mega ramp you want to go down rock and roller and i'll show you where to go all right it's not too hard to get down this trail you just got to make sure you're taking your time if you're a new player take your time <laughs> No, don't be like that. Okay, going down this trail, this is an enduro trail, I would say. So make sure you take your time. You can go down a dual suspension if you want. But if you want to have more tricks and more spins, you want to be on the hard tail. So just take it slow, go at your own pace, it's all good. I recommend setting a marker right there, since you will just have enough speed to go over this jump. Pretty simple. There you go. All right, make sure you don't go on that skinny because you will most likely die. And just after the skinny, you're going to see this massive wall right here. You don't want to hit it. And then you're going to see these trees right here. The two in front of me, you want to go over the berm. And then just these trees here, you're going to find this huge secret mega ramp. It is crazy. And I just hit a tree. This mega ramp is absolutely crazy since you can get massive tricks on it. Like that one right there, that's huge. Okay, now I'm going to show you two secret tricks that anyone can do. Okay, so the best way I'm going to show you this one is at this jump right here on Whiplash. The first trick is going to be called a flat spin. This is what it looks like, and you can add awesome tricks in it. It will say a 180 at the bottom, and that's because of the way you are spinning your left analog stick. This trick is awesome since you can do it in so many cool jumps over spines, you can get different rotations both ways and you can even do 360s before or after it. You can basically do anything with the trick which is such a cool thing. Okay let me put my controller on so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay so you should be able to see my controller below now. This trick is actually really basic to learn and anyone can do it in my opinion. So all you want to do is first learn how to 360 backflip really easily both ways. It's going to make this 10 times easier if you know how to 360 backflip. So once you master 360 backflips, you want to learn how to do a quarter of a 360 backflip rotation like this. You see how it was kind of like that? My whole body and my bike was like a piece of paper. You want to get into that position. Once you get into that position, all you want to do is stop your rotation and do a backflip and turn your bike to the left, depending on what way you go. So it really does just depend on what way you go. If you're going to the left, looking at my controller below, when you do that 360 backflip, you're going to stop and do your backflip and then turn it back into a 360 backflip, if that makes sense. That's going to really help you when it comes out leveling at your bike so you can make sure you have the perfect landing for it. Alright, I'll do it one more time just to make it clear. I'll do it the other way as well. There you go. That's how you do it. It's flat spin. Flat spins are so cool, like I said before. Alright, I'm going to show you guys the next trick. And this one's a little bit harder, but once you learn how to do it, oh my gosh, it is amazing. This next one's called a Cork 1080 or a 720 front flip, depending on what you like more. So there's multiple ways actually to do this trick. You can do it tweaked. You can't. You can do it not tweaked. You can do it weird, rotated. I'm going to show you the easiest way and the most basic way to do it. This jump is not big enough, I don't think. So this is called a Cork 1080 or a 720 front flip, depending on what you like more. You can do it in back flips. I didn't really do it there, but you get what I'm trying to say. You can call it whatever you want. If you're in skiing, you're probably going to call it a Cork 1080, but if you're into BMX, you're probably going to call it a 720 front flip. So how to do this trick. You just want to easily make sure you have a big enough jump. I wouldn't actually recommend this jump since you've got a moon jump at quite big to actually get the rotation and once you do you got a little bit extra time so i don't recommend this jump but i'm gonna do it here anyways so you just want to learn a 720 you don't have to learn anything different and then of course you want to learn how to front flip which is super easy all you have to do is left stick forward 
You just want to make sure that you're landing nicely, both wheels landing at the same time. And then after that, you basically just want to put them together and learn how to 360 front flip. Make sure you're getting that, all that rotation around, landing nicely, two wheels on the ground at the same time. Once you then learn that, this is probably the most difficult part. You want to start off by doing the 720. So, so when you start it, you basically want to start off by doing the 720 and then you want to put it up to the, that way on the controller. Now, it's actually going to be really tough at first, I'd say, but once you get the hang of it, this is such a good trick. That's really it for this trick. Just leveling out the bike is the main part. I started with the 720, go into the front flip, and it all adds up together, and you shouldn't lose that uh, spin speed, but you should go a little bit of a slower front flip, which is a key thing you want to do. If you want to get it more corked out and more like a side flip, what you want to do before you actually hit the ramp is go to the right a little bit if you're spinning to the left and then the opposite way if you're spinning to the right. So yeah, this is an awesome trick. You put, you see people like Nicola Aragat can do in this in uh, Crankworks. You can throw tricks in this like bar spins, tail whips. I prefer to do late bars in it. I think they look awesome. So if you ever want to flex around your friends in the senders, show them cool tricks that they don't know how to do at all, I really recommend learning those two tricks I just showed you. Now what you clicked on for this video is happening right now. The secret Lux bike, also known as the white lux bike now unfortunately this can only be accessed from steam pc players so if you're on the microsoft store on pc you will not be able to do this and if you're on any console i'm sorry but you will not be able to do this either now if i actually do a tutorial for this this is probably going to take a long time since if you're doing it for the first time and it'll probably take you a good 20 minutes to do. I haven't got it on yet, but I'm gonna go quickly do it. If you want to know how to do it, messaging a person named Brenzel, you can find them in the official Descenders Discord or Isaac at Gaming. He's also really good at this stuff. So make sure you go hit them up. All right, let me get it on. Okay, so I'm back in Descenders and I tried my hardest to get this white luck spike, but unfortunately I couldn't get it. I don't know if it works anymore or not, but I'm pretty sure it does. I just, I don't know. I couldn't figure it out. I'm pretty good at doing mods. It's just this one was really weird and I've never done something like it before. So yeah, this is what it looks like. There is a few gameplays that people have done with it, but I haven't seemed to find any. This is what the white luck spike looks like. I think only a few people have it now since you, I don't think you can actually get it anymore. So yeah, I don't think you can get it anymore, but there was a white luck spike but if you did like the video please i say please subscribe we're growing every day and it's so cool to see and if you like this video please like that'd be really appreciated and let me know if you want more secrets in the future again sorry i didn't get the white luck spike I'll try and get it next time but yeah catch you guys in the next one